Well, here we are. Goodbye double digits, hello triple digits. 100 long form videos under my belt on this YouTube channel. Good day everyone. If you've missed my 99 other long form videos, know that my name is Franco Allo and this channel is all about knife knowledge, reviews, unboxings, and head to heads. We, I've come a long way and I want to look back at the journey during this video and talk about what we can look forward to in the future and give out some Kitchen Knife Awards. Let's start at the beginning. I've gone through a bunch of different YouTube banners, thumbnails, specific video types, intros, and even a channel intro video with a wicked line if I say so myself. Stay a while. Stay a while and you'll learn about knife knowledge. Some of you have been with me since video one, which absolutely blows my mind. I'm just a speck of dust dust in the wind of this YouTube world. Hundreds and thousands of creators, so thank you if you've watched one video or 100. Gold star to the OGs for sure. Let's do a bit of a Kitchen Knife Awards to summarize those first 99 videos to those of you who have sent me products to review over the years. Roughly three years of doing YouTube, over 30 kitchen knives, and a dozen kitchen tools contributed to the channel. Originating from all over the world, from Australia to Japan to the UK, back to home turf in Canada. These awards encompass those knives sent to me, not those specifically which I purchased for my kitchen knife collection. The award for smallest knife sent to me goes to Tim Rowland from Rowland Cutlery in the USA with this 75mm Petty. The award for longest knife goes to Jamie Nerkosi of JN The Anvil from the UK with this 280mm Kuma Gyoto. The award for most unique knife goes to Quentin Middleton of Middleton Made Knives from the USA with this foldable 4-inch Ona. The award for best valued knife performance-wise for the cost goes to Tokushu Knife Shop out of the USA for sending me a 130mm Takamura Chromax Petty. This thing is a slayer. The award for best fit and finish from blade to handle goes to Peter at Modern Cooking in Germany for sending me a 230mm Carbon Series Birch and Bevel Gyoto. The award for best factory made knives goes to Sharp Knife Shop from Canada for sending me a Ryerson Blazon Bunka. The award for most innovative tool, aka not a kitchen knife, goes to Bunzai Boys Trading for sending me a Parker Asahi Wa Handle. The award for most resilient edge, able to withstand my wife using the knife to chop chocolate, nuts, and other hard ingredients, goes to Matt Baldwin of Baldwin Blades in the USA for his spicy white core 214mm Gyoto. And my favorite, the award for knife most in use slash sharpest goes to Chef's Edge for sending me their beautiful Hado Collab Chef's Edge Blue One Damascus 210mm Gyoto. Chef's Edge being a shop from Australia and Hado being from Sakai, Japan. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to all the shops, the smiths, the brands, and the individuals who have sent me free tools over the years to review. Those tools, those kitchen tools, have been a big part of this channel. So much so that in 2023, I feel like I barely ever had a chance to create and chase my own concepts as I was busy making sure, you know, I kept my commitments to putting out videos about those tools sent to me. But wait, you should and need to know that though some tools may have been free, my opinion has never, ever been bought. That is why I still do what I do, because I've always said I owe it to you, the knife community, to provide you with an honest opinion, constructive, educative, and of course, entertaining in my own way. I always warn those that send me tools to review that it comes at a risk. If I don't like what's in front of me, I'm gonna be diplomatic about it, but the people will know. My videos are for you watching, not for those sending. It is so you can make an informed decision if you want to invest your hard-earned money or not. This year, I'm already off to a great start of video commitments to others, but if things get out of hand, like last year, I may push the timeline I promised when a video comes out to be more selective, or maybe I put out a blackout period where I focus on my own concepts a bit more. I really want to put out a knife demo on my Konosuke Fujiyama Kiritsuke, for example. I want to put out a video on factory-made versus handmade kitchen knives. I want to put out a video on how to choose your next kitchen knife. A video add-on to River Jump Santoku. If you've watched until this point, great, because I have a little surprise for you. We're going to end the video with bloopers from my first 99 videos. Thank you all for being a member of this channel. Hope you'll continue to support me like my videos, share my videos, share my channel to others to subscribe, and catch you in the next video. All right, doing a test in my birthday suit. Doing a test in my birthday suit. What do you 
think of me. Yeah, so now you know what to do now? And you know what to do now? Flawless. I want project this. Now brown cow. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is <laughs> Yeah, come back. Checking the mic. Check, check, check the hello. Got the ring lights. Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a mini review on a Kenji, nope, Hitohira. Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a mini review on a Hitohira, I oh, keep wanting to say Kenji. Why? Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a mini review on a Hitohira Togashi Kasumi 240mm Kiritsuke Gyoto. I know that's a mouthful. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Frank Oalo and this knife channel is all about knife reviews, unboxings. Fuck, I don't even know what the channel is about. What's typically on the banner? Reviews, unboxings. Head to heads. That's the last one. Doom, 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 doom. Testing the sound. Look at the house. Focus. So it gives us that forward momentum to help us cut through chicken. M momentum. Enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't watched the latest unboxing though of the what? No. Unboxing because we're leaving to camp tomorrow and um, yeah. <clears throat> Becca, is your door open? What's up everyone? Welcome back. What? You know what? Let's keep going. What? All right, everyone. So welcome back. So what you saw was me using But that, that's what I want to test. Oh, stop yourself. It touched you. It touched you. Yeah. So that's where the middle is. Morning, voice. Dying. Dying. And here's an orange. This is a knife now, though. Let's pretend, okay? Are you fucking focusing? I want to be able to focus right in front of me. Focus, just in case it's off. Actually, I didn't even set it. Testing again because my big fat fucking head is never in the thingy. Is it in now? How do you like now? Focus, this is a knife. You have one shot at this. Thank you. Testing one last fucking time. Can't use this for bloopers. Got demonetized. I'm gonna get demonetized. Focus. Focus, yeah, yeah. That's it. With this type of knife, if you're inattentive. God damn it, Kino. This is the one, baby. Not the camera. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember to smash that like button and subscribe to Sharp Knife Shop. Sharp Knife Shop. Thanks for. No. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
Ha, ha, I don't know what I'm saying. Beep, beep.